Chris Colbert pulls off the 12th round win over my boy Tukstot. Nyambar pulled it off on King Tug. Uh, I had I had Chris Colbert winning this fight in my prediction. Go check out my early my prediction video. I had Chris Colbert winning this fight on the 12th round. I knew Tug was going to be a harder fight than Gamboa. I told everybody that. Tug showed what he had. Moving up from 126 to 130. Um, gave it his best. He actually caught Chris Colbert with some pretty good shots. Chris Colbert ate him. I never seen him hurt. He even said that Tug was his hardest puncher yet. So, you know, Tug also gave Gary Russell a bit of problems when they fought at down at 126. But um, Chris Colbert, uh, very, he put on a show. But there's some things that I got to say about it, though. Um, that I didn't like that he was doing, man. He kept going from South Pole to... Um, he's a switch hitter. Kept going from South Pole... South Pole to um, Orthodox. And... When he, whenever he went to South Pole, he was having issues. He was getting hit by Tug. And then he'd go back to conventional. He was doing his thing. He was, he was just banging on getting getting it in. And I'm like, why the fuck is he... Why does he keep going back to South Pole and that's not working for him? You know what I mean? Um... Maybe he was trying to see. Maybe he was trying to do adjustments and trying to see, you know, test himself to the limit with his southpaw stance. I don't know. Maybe that's what he was. Maybe he felt like Tug couldn't really hurt him, so he felt like he can do that with Tug. I don't know. But I was just wondering. I'm like, bro, you got him. You you whipping his ass when you in con in conventional state conventional, man. And then you know sometimes he does a little showboating a little bit too much, man. He, I guess he knows who to do it with because I, I know pretty much, man. Even I mean I don't know man. Some fighters are just confident in their skills like that. I man, even if he step up his comp, it's a chance that he'll probably start. He'll showboat with them too with Tank Devin. He probably would if he ended up going up to 135 to fight them dudes, you know. Or Tank came down back to 130 to fight him. But nonetheless, he did good. And it's just an, another thing I don't like that he does. He overthrows his punches a lot, man. I'm like man, he got they got to work on that shit, bro. They got to work on that, but. After watching this fight, Shakur Stevenson definitely has better defense than him, man. Definitely much better defense. Shakur is not as careless and not as reckless. Chris Colbert can get a little reckless sometimes, man. And I've said this. I have to fix that. I'm going to definitely have to fix that, man. Um, nonetheless, good fighter. Um, power is definitely to be questioned here. I had to say one time on the live, I said I was thinking that... Um, Chris Colbert had a little bit more power than Shakur Steve than um, Devin Haney, but no, he definitely don't have more power than Devin Haney. I would say between him, Shakur, and uh, him and Shakur and Devin, I would say Devin Haney has the most power out of those three. Then Shakur Stevenson, then maybe Chris Colbert in that order, you know. But um, it's some things he definitely got to fix. Nonetheless, he got the win. He looked good. It's just some things he got to fix, man. I, and I think his power. Maybe he didn't grow into, you know, I'm going to go by the narrative. He didn't grow into his man strength yet. Sometimes I guess you're born with power. Sometimes I guess you got to grow into it. Sometimes you just will never have it. It's one of those three, you know, but um, let me know what you thought about the fight, man. Who, who's next for him? I don't know. We'll yet, yet to see who's next for Chris Colbert. I think he called out. He said he'd like to fight Tank. I think he said Leo Santa Cruz. I think he just called out Leo. Um, I'll talk about that, too. If, if I'm going to do some more research on that one. Then I'll like bring up that in another video, man. But yo, y'all let me know what y'all think about this Chris Colbert scrap with uh King Tug, man. Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel. Like, subscribe, support the channel, share, all that good shit. It's Rebel Life Boxing, and I'm off this.